Go forth from your land, from your birthplace, from your father's house, to the land that I will show you. Which one of these four commands was the hardest for Abraham to follow? Go forth from your land, from your birthplace. In the previous parasha, we learned that Terah, Abraham's father, already uprooted the family from Ur, the birthplace of Avram, and set out to go west to Canaan. So this process of leaving was already in motion before God commanded Abram. Along the way, the family reached Haran, Mesopotamia, and settled there. Reason unknown. Because the verse concludes, Terach died there at the age of 205, one may think that they stopped because Terach was unable to continue on his journey and died. On the surface, it seems that there is no longer a father's house in Haran, and therefore, leaving should be easy. But not so fast. Digging further in the genealogy, I found interesting facts. Terach was 70 when Abram was born. Abram was 75 when he left Haran. Hence, Terach was 145 when Abram was commanded to leave his father's home in Haran. Then how difficult was it to obey the command, Mi bet avicha, to leave the comfort of his father's house and to follow God? It was a true sacrifice, hard. And the last part of the command, go to the land that I will show you. El ha'aretz asher areka. Follow God blindly, a leap of faith. Go to an unknown place, never to see your family again. As I examine the chain of commands, I see that they are ascending in their degree of difficulty. Similar to a later command to Abraham in chapter 22. As Rashi explained there, God was softening the blow, preparing Abraham slowly to accept the more difficult commands. God started from the easiest, go forth from your land, from your birthplace, which Abraham and the family had already done, and then from your father's house, mi bet avicha, hard to swallow. And God finished with the most difficult of them all. Go to the unknown, trust me, follow me to the land that I will show you, a true test of faith.